Heroes in Motion is an initiative of the Pilates Method Alliance, narrated by Elizabeth Larkham, PMA certified Pilates teacher. Heroes in Motion is grounded in the original work of Joseph H. Pilates, shown here working with Eve Gentry in 1956. Eve Gentry had had a radical mastectomy, and she worked with Joseph Pilates to recover her function following this surgery. After her recovery, Joseph Pilates and Eve Gentry gave a demonstration of his practice to a group of New York physicians. These physicians did not believe it was possible for someone who had had such surgery to move with such kinesthetic acuity. They thought Joseph Pilates and Eve Gentry were fakes. Subsequently, Eve Gentry and Joseph Pilates performed her program again, this time without her leotard so that her scars were visible. In October 2006, I began working with this client at the San Francisco Bay Club. She has a right prosthetic leg following a fall of six stories. It was as a result of this collaboration with this client that I began to learn how to sequence material in the Pilates studio in order to help someone with a prosthetic limb walk with more comfort and ease. It was very important to learn how to sequence material in the studio in order to provide the proximal support that's so beneficial from Pilates and connect that with the motor control required for control of the prosthetic limb. Here you see the transfer of force from the thoracic spine through the pelvis to the leg. And watch here as she moves her thoracic spine to the right, then her pelvis, then her leg. So important to get the spine on top of her leg so that there will be a good transfer of force through the right lateral pelvic stabilizers. You can see that she now walks with more efficiency. Her spine is a bit more upright and more centered over the central axis. This is Mike Podlensky at the U.S. Naval Medical Center. Since October 2008, Mike has worked tirelessly to develop the Pilates program at the Comprehensive Combat and Complex Casualty Care Center that's a C5 program in San Diego, California. One of his patients is shown here, a Marine captain who lost both of his legs in a blast in Afghanistan. It was the goal of this Marine captain to return to work in Afghanistan, and following the six months of his Pilates program, focus with Mike Podlensky at the U.S. Naval Medical Center, he continued his rehabilitation at Camp Pendleton and has now returned to active duty in Afghanistan. The original Pilates method is beneficial for clients today in 2013. You can see sometimes it's necessary to modify the exercises because the client's center of mass has shifted as a result of the injury. Not only is Heroes in Motion beneficial for clients with prosthetic limbs, but a wide variety of clients with polytrauma that might include traumatic brain injury, injuries to the vestibular system, any number of complex orthopedic concerns, as well as prosthetic limbs. You can appreciate that when someone cannot rely on the ground forces from their feet or the transfer of force from their feet through their legs, that it's necessary to develop core control because core control is what you have. In the contemporary Pilates environment, we use additions to the original work of Joseph Pilates, sometimes in order to achieve flexibility and strength into vectors of force that may be necessary for the client's shoulder girdle organization, efficiency of breathing. Here you can see that this Marine Captain is able to transfer his core control into stability on his prosthetic limbs. We go now to the Royal Danish Ballet Building in Copenhagen, Denmark, where instructors are at work in the Pilates studio with Danish soldiers. You can appreciate that this client's walk is not particularly efficient. Watch now as he goes through his program, a program that I designed for him and taught to the instructors. The instructors are Jesse Lee and Jojo Bauman who have founded the Pilates program for Danish soldiers. 
The program that we have created for this particular soldier focuses on thoracic mobility. The thorax can move in lateral flexion, in lateral translation, in rotation and extension. Very important to transfer the forces from the thoracic spine into the pelvis and into the leg and then into the prosthetic limb. The contemporary Pilates environment that supports a variety of different vectors is augmented by the carefully trained tactile cues that the instructor provides for the client, honing the client's kinesthetic awareness, encouraging strength where there's been kinesthetic blind spots, and encouraging mobility where there has been lack of fascial glide. Sometimes the exercises selected would be difficult for people with all their limbs, let alone someone who's navigating the world with two state-of-the-art prosthetic legs. One can use the Pilates chair in order to develop differentiated rotation. Here the pelvis is stabilized as the thoracic spine is rotated and the cervical spine rotated also. Core control certainly is a localized activity with the pelvic floor, the deep abdominals, and the muscles that control the spine. It's also a global capability that involves the entire neuromyofascial web for complete mobility of the spine and always control the spine and support that the spine and the trunk can provide the limbs. Appreciate the greater efficiency of this gait now. We go now to Tel Aviv, Israel, to the Disabled Veterans Organization, where Hadar Schwartz, a physiotherapist and certified Pilates teacher, works with her colleagues to design movement sequences for clients with traumatic brain injury. Hadar is able to use the original Pilates equipment in order to customize programs for clients with traumatic brain injury. The Pilates environment, with its variety of springs, provides just the right vector of force to provide support for the client. The client may be in a wheelchair, in which case they can still access the Pilates equipment. They can also transfer from the wheelchair onto the mat, onto the trapeze table, in order to work in a variety of different positions, supine, prone, bridging, high kneeling, and then to continue with trunk control work in their chair. Heroes in motion can be children or adults, women or men, civilians or people with military affiliation. This program shows my 12-year-old client at work developing his motor acuity on his left side. A traumatic brain injury at age 18 months left him with some cognitive impairments, some visual impairments, and some motor control impairments. Pilates instructors work with clients who may have polytrauma, injury to the vestibular system, traumatic brain injury, orthopedic injuries, or some who require prosthetic limbs. No matter what the specialized needs of the clients, the Pilates training, in conjunction with the Pilates environment, supports the client's ability to develop motor control, to develop self-confidence, and to develop ease of movement in their environment. The collaborators featured in this film are thrilled that the Pilates Method Alliance has established the Heroes in Motion initiative. We invite you to go to www.pilatesmethodalliance.org and visit the Heroes in Motion webpage or email us at heroes at